Hey guys, welcome to a new FL Studio tutorial. We are now going to see how to configure our launchpad with FL Studio. You will need to have FL Studio 10.8 and up so you can apply this technique and it can actually work, you know, within FL Studio or if you want to use your launchpad in the performance mode. So the first thing you need to do is connect, of course, the launchpad. And then you need to go just to options and MIDI settings. You will check in the input part, this enable button. Just click on it until it's enabled. For example, now it's not enabled, there is enabled. And now all we need to do, it's pretty much set the same port in the input and the output of the MIDI settings of this launchpad. So the default number is this one, 115, but you can use any other number and it should work fine. Once you've done that, now you can close it. You can just go to the launch pad and you can click this button right here and it should bring up some lights on the launch pad. If you don't see them, just click the arrow on the left side and they should be appearing as they are right now. So in the launch pad, we have several layouts that we can use and they can all help you with your project or anything you are doing within FL Studio because the launchpad is not only, you know, good for performance mode or live performance because you can use it as well within your production, like to control things within FL Studio. For example, this layout that I have right now on the launchpad, it's pretty much a chromatic keyboard. If I play a note, just clicking random pads, I'll be playing some notes on the FL keys. So yeah, you can pretty much use the launch button anywhere you want. So that's pretty much all you need to do. I will give you guys a link of a post in the image line forum where you can check all the layouts so you can have more information about each one. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.